What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you've had a good weekend, and you're getting ready to start out that work week tomorrow. I've actually had to do this video a couple times because for some reason the graphics of looking at the website on Twitter Live is coming up fuzzy. And it looks straight on my screen and on the actual video clips when I'm transferring it over. It's not coming out right. So uh, I hope I hit all the points I did before in this uh, video is have recorded. But this here is going to be a little bit different. And as you can see, it says HGA did what? So... If you guys aren't real big into social media, especially like Twitter and stuff, you probably haven't heard much about this. But basically, HGA did a custom label, and they took some artwork that was not theirs and put onto the uh, uh, slab label itself, which is a cardinal no-no out there, regardless of how you get it. Because somebody did the artwork, it's probably copyrighted and everything else onto it. So... Let me pull up the picture in question. Boom, there we go. So, it was a Don Russ Optic Downtown Tua. And if you look at it, because I can't really scroll in the picture, to the right of Tua's name, you see the cartoon character there. And that was the big one. I mean, the waves are copyrighted and everything else on there. But somebody was, uh, you know, looking to see where this picture came from offhand because it looks similar out there. And you guys will see there's a lot going on with this right now on social media talking about their artificial um, intelligence and all that. And I'm really not going to touch that because I don't have much fact on to it. This I do know is fact that the label itself was uh, printed onto this and that, you know, it did go on social media. And the person that posted it, I do know who he is. The part of it on to it is that, you know, he's gotten some backlash on to it, say, calling him PSA lover and all this other stuff. But you got to figure, HGA, I mean, many people have HGA slabs. It's very limited. you got to go through lethal lottery, so and they haven't been around long enough. Of course, most of us are going to have PSA and VGS. But back to the point at hand here, um, they found out that the character itself, uh, the picture they took, came from an artist and where the nine five is on edges it would actually have the artist signature there well from there they found the guy through pinterest i believe it was i'm pretty sure it was pinterest and you know they reached out to him he said he had no idea somebody took his artwork and used it like this so let me pull this picture down here because i'm actually gonna be able to cut this down a little bit more in video length actually So this here is where uh, HGA came out, and this is what they're saying. That in regards to recent allegation, our designers use a paid subscription for Adobe Illustrator, in which there are stock images, including the one in question, and they go on about it with the law. Well, if you look at the licensing agreement, it was pointed out by many people, you're not allowed to use this for commercial use what, from Adobe Illustrator, and they did. And regardless of what your legal team says and all that stuff there, you know, the way they handle the PR-wise, I'm not a fan of, to be honest. They should have came out and said, hey, we see there's some um, recent comments about our labels and everything. We are taking our time now looking into it. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We're now in contact with the actual, you know, artist of it, and we'll have more information that follows. Again, this is part of response because they got a whole bunch of hate posts and everything else because, you know, that's the way it goes on social media. You've got people that like you, they like love you, whatever you want to say. They're, you know, okay, cool information type deal, or they hate you. You know, there's really not much more than those three categories, in my opinion, out there. And when you get, receive a lot of backlash, you just blast off, and sometimes, you know, things aren't well thought out. And if this is from somebody that's actually a public relations person, you know, I, if it was me and my company, I'd have fired the PR off end and my graphics team as well, uh, just for the fact they should have known better onto it. And the only reason I know part of this uh, law onto it is because of when I had to go through it five, five to six, maybe seven years ago now. And I actually went and seen an attorney on the outside out here. Luckily, it was one of the guys used to break with me, so he was able to square me away. But, you know... With that being said, you, you just can't take somebody's artwork and delete their signature and say, I changed it. 
you know, now it's free to use or whatever may be out there. And no chance this is what they're saying on here. They're saying they got it from Adobe and they could do it. But when you're using and selling a product, that's a no-no. So long story short, the artist did get paid and he now has credit for his work, which is great. It took the hobby to do this. It shouldn't have had to really come down to all this. You know, you should be looking and doing what's right out there. And if you're caught off guard, as I say, with your pants down or whatever you may call it nowadays, you know, you got to make sure you put it out there correct. And, you know, before I even would put something out like this, I'd send it to four or five people and see what their take is on the message going out. Does it seem cruel? Does it seem harsh? Is it wrong? Should I add, delete, whatever to it? Because I want to make sure the message comes out and it comes out correctly so it doesn't downplay my company and then more people start slamming me for it. So that was there. There's a lot more to it. If you guys are on tw uh, Twitter, yeah, Twitter. I was going to call it Twitter for some reason. Um, you guys could follow the whole thing. And if you want about four or five hours of reading and retweets and everything else, there's a lot to it where lawyers talked onto this stuff or guys that were getting ready to graduate law school, the guys that post on Adobe say, no, that's copyright. You cannot do it. And what you're doing is just cutting a piece of the word out, and it's not the whole thing. You know, you got to read, uh, read the fine print and stuff onto it. So this is the uh, artist. You know, this is what he said uh, to a personal message onto it. And there's, there's more onto it, too. Uh, it just wasn't shared. It was just talked about. And I got to hear about it on Zoom, so... You know, I I believe everything that was said onto it because there's no reason to make something up onto it. But I don't know what you guys have heard. If you guys pay attention to it or not, if you have, what you, what would you guys think in the comments section? I mean, originally would this hurt the company? No, but I think the way it was handled may put a little bit of a downshift onto it a little bit. I mean. There was even uh somebody posted a while back and I can't find it, but it was a picture that had like straight nines across it on an HGA slab and the overall grade was a nine five. You know, errors happen. They do. And I'm not gonna slam anybody's company out there because they make an error. It's just how you handle it, you know, and respond to that error is where I'm gonna look at the most onto it as, you know, from the outside as a buyer, not, you know, making a video or a post about it. You know, and I think that they really need to take a look at how their approach is on to PR and, uh, you know, pay the, pay the money for somebody that's good at what they do to make sure that the reputation, the job security stays there for employees and everything else because it just takes one bad tweet out there. We see it uh, time after time again with sports athletes and everything. Once you put it out there, it's there forever. It don't matter if you delete it or not. Somebody screenshotted that. But, you know, is HGA wrong for what they did? Yeah, you know, but you learn from it. The way they handled it, not so great. And it just it reminded me of the way STC talked to me. Uh, whenever they were trying to handle uh, all their late stuff and saying 90 days, and I was sitting at like, oh no, it was 70 days, and I was sitting at 96 days last year. And it was just bad, bad stuff to where it rubbed me wrong, and I was just not a fan of it afterwards, you know. For me, for a new company, for me to invest money into it, you've got to show a lot, a whole lot for me to put my money into it. I would rather wait 8 to 12 months to get my cards back. Grant, PSA, and BGS all have their issues. We all know it. But they are still up there in price values as well, too. But... Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I give you the bits and pieces of what I know, the story, and some screenshots, just because I couldn't scroll Twitter and have it on here. It was like, if when I stopped it, it would look good, like as a pause, but when the video was playing, it was like blurred out, and I tried expanded and everything else, uh, the font onto it, just didn't come out right. But that's pretty much the gist of the story onto it with, uh, you know, the artwork and everything onto it. And again, by no means am I trying to slam anybody onto their business or anything like that. This is just me talking from my personal aspect and opinion onto it. I'm just not a fan of the way they handled the situation. Um, I probably would have flown the guy out to me 
and had him sign the contract, paid for that hotel, food, everything. Been like, dude, I am so sorry, man. But, you know, I took pictures, posted across the board, and made it right. Maybe you would have the guy part of the team afterwards to design some other stuff, whatever it may be. But just so the transparency is out there of it to show that, hey, we did mess up. This is what we did to fix it. And then let people see, hey, you know, I like the way they handled the situation versus I don't like that they did this or whatever. But again, everybody's going to have their own opinions on to it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then I will talk to you all later in some videos this week, some uh, different stuff coming out. And then don't forget, next Friday, which will be April 9th, uh, we'll be live at the auction. Hopefully we get some uh, slabs back in by then, too. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one.